Hello and welcome back to Redneck Snack and Food Review. I'm gonna try to make this real quick. It's super cold out. I ain't got time for this. So uh I got the Starbucks um Irish cold brew. It's mixed up a little bit um since walking to the car. So I apologize if it doesn't look like it would in the advertisements and stuff, but uh yeah. Um gonna be a quick review just gonna taste it see how it tastes hopefully it's good i don't know how much of a coffee taste it has we will see so i might have to drink for a while because i you know the cream at the top but you know it's fine should I take the top i should have gotten a spoon i really regret not getting a spoon but oh well oh yeah some thick cream on the top so i'm gonna have to take the lid off oh look at that I'll, I'll I'll lick that off later. Mmm. Oh, that's interesting. That's like, mmm, hits you real good. Yeah. It's got a strong coffee taste. It's good, though. And the cream is good addition to it. So I gotta stir with my finger. I'm assuming I don't want it all together. Yeah, so far, so good. You get that mixture, a good mixture of, uh, sorry about the light and I don't, there we go. You get a good mixture of, um, cream and coffee, and it really hits good. Mmm. Now, what I don't like about it is, after getting that cream in, you get more of a coffee weight, which is fine. I mean, it's coffee. That's what you're supposed to get out of it in this light, and it's pissing me off. Anyway, that's what you're supposed to get out of it. But I think the cream, good mixture to it. I really like this. And it makes for a good, uh, a good drink. So, uh, I'm going to give that a 10. Very good thick cream, very nice coffee taste, enjoyable. And if you're not a huge coffee fan, it's not too bad. I think you just have to get a good sip of cream in there if you're not a huge coffee fan. So yeah, that's my review on the new Irish Cream Cold Brew from Starbucks. I got a couple other things I want to try from Starbucks. Um, um, they got a couple holiday drinks I want to try and review because like not. Many other coffee places, I would assume not many do those flavors. Um, the uh, caramel, praline, no, crème brûlée, and then the uh, the praline chestnut. So I want to try those. I do want to try Dunkin' Donuts gingerbread uh, coffee again. I did try Starbucks eggnog, and it definitely had eggnog taste. I'm not sure if eggnog and coffee go together. I like mixing all kinds of weird things, so I don't I don't blame Starbucks for bringing that into their little uh thing but uh you know i thought it was a bit weird and so i didn't review that knowing that um you know that's the flavor that happens every year and dunkin donuts does it as well i don't want to do a review of a coffee that's like everywhere you know um but with uh each each, uh, I guess, coffee place, because I guess Duncan considers himself a coffee place now. Um, with each coffee place, um, they've got their own unique thing. So Starbucks has this, this Irish cream thing, and uh, the two other drinks. So I give this a 10. And then Duncan has a, Duncan has a gingerbread, which I had it. And, and they have a gingerbread s'mores, too. I had the uh, gingerbread one, and I just, I, I tasted chocolate in there, and I was like... I don't know if they did this right. So, I'm going to go back, not to that Duncan, because I don't know what they're thinking. But I'm going to go to a Duncan, and I'm going to get the gingerbread again and give you a proper review for that. But this was the Irish cream. I thought it was really good. Again, a 10. And, uh, yeah. So, if you enjoyed this review, give it a like. Give it a comment. Give it a share. Subscribe to my channel. 
check out my Instagram, Redneck Snack and Favorite Reviews. And I'll see y'all around because I got more reviews coming today. All right? See y'all all around.